Hey, welcome to 908 Ministries. For those keeping track, we totally skipped two videos last week, but life has been busy and chaotic, and honestly, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. I'm sure we'll come back and fill in later. For now, thanks for joining us this week as we talk about the Earth and why we need to treat it well. This is Read About It. Let's go. Genesis 1. God spoke. Let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature, so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea and the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female and blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill the earth. Take charge. Be responsible for the fish in the sea and the birds in the air, for every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. Jeremiah 2. I brought you to the garden land, where you could eat lush fruit, but you barged in and polluted my land, trashed and defiled my dear land. The priests never thought to ask, where's God? The religion experts knew nothing of me. The rulers defied me. The prophets preached God Baal and chased empty God dreams and silly God schemes. Ezekiel 34. And as for you, my dear flock, I'm stepping in and judging between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. Aren't you satisfied to feed in good pastures without taking over the whole place? Can't you be satisfied to drink from the clear stream without muddying the water with your feet? Why do the rest of my sheep have to make do with grass that's trampled down and water that's been muddied? Psalm 95. And why? Because God is the best, high king over all the gods. In one hand, he holds deep caves and caverns, and the other hand grasps the high mountains. He made oceans, he owns it. His hands sculpted earth. That was this week's short and sweet read about it. Come back tomorrow for our pray about it. Peace be with you and those you love. Signing out, 908 Ministries.